Hey guys, welcome back to Expo channel. Myself Rakesh and today we are going to learn one more question in complete details. So let's read the question. A developer designed a process in UiPath Studio that is best suited for a simple and linear process. So the keyword is simple and linear process. Which studio workflow type was used? For a simple and linear process, are you going to use a flowchart? Are you going to use a sequence? Are you going to use a global exception handler or a state machine? So these are the four options given to you. So first of all, let's understand this. What is this linear process and how many different kinds of process are available? So for that, all you have to do, if you have gone through the RE framework chapter in the first chapter, transactional processing, here they have defined three different kinds of processes. One is the linear process. Second is the iterative process. And third one is the transactional process. They are actually very simple. Linear process. The steps of the process are performed only once. And if there is a need to process different data, the automation is to be executed again. So generally when you create a sequence, the sequence will have couple of activities one after the other and remember this key point the steps of the processes are performed only once so that means each activity will run only once and the process will complete so that generally we do by using a sequence in, in our project right whenever, whenever we use this sequence that's where we build a linear process so we keep on dragging various activities one after the other so that we have seen multiple times right so this is a sequence so the key point to remember that each activity executes only once okay so that is a linear process and iterative process in this one couple of activities in the process can can be repeated you can repeat certain activity through a loop you using a for each loop or using a flow chart even using a flow chart we have an option to link one activity to the other and we can loop in through that activity right uh, depending on the requirement so anywhere we have to repeat one activity more than once so in the linear process each activity or the steps of the process are performed only once right only once here more than once if anywhere you have if you are using a flow chart what would happen the activity can be performed performed more than once right you are just connecting using a flowchart or using a for each loop inside a sequence that time it will become an iterative process anywhere a uh, activity is repeated that is the meaning okay that is an iterative process so sequence so generally if you look at the definition of the sequence sequences are similar type of project they are suitable for linear processes as they enable you to go from one activity to the another seamlessly and act as a single block activity. So it will go from top to bottom approach. Okay, linear process. So here as per our question, best suited for a simple and linear process. So we understood linear process. Okay, so the answer we are very confident that it could be sequence, but why not flow chart? So let's see that. Flow chart is also the ability of the flow chart is you can connect one activity with the other. If you read this, the most important aspect of a flow chart is that Unlike sequences, they present multiple branching logical operator. So you can do branching of each activity that enables you to create complex business processes. Keep this word in mind. Flowchart is used for a complex business processes and the act connect activities in multiple ways. We can the ability of a, ability of a flowchart is to connect one activity with other ones. Okay. So this is the word you should remember. Complex business process. What is the question? Simple simple and linear process so linear process means sequence simple and linear process answer is sequence not flowchart flowchart is for a complex why complex why they are saying complex because anytime you are using a flowchart if you have to design a complex business process which has a lot of steps right so when you go with a flowchart what happens you get an overall diagram of that in sequence if you have to use 100 activities that will become a very huge file but here Within a flowchart, we can create a small diagram. For example, within the flowchart, I can 
add a sequence and within that sequence again add all the linear processes again create another sequence so there are multiple ways we can use okay so this way your entire complexity overall will become simple so here you can put uh, 10 activities then you create one more sequence right uh, here you can put another 20 activities so similar way you can keep designing it okay so i am not going through the details of it but you understood that uh, using the flowchart we can design a complex business process and make it a, appear a simple diagram so if you look at overall it will appear very simple so that is where we should go for a flowchart so flowchart is used in a complex business process right and and each activity can be linked in multiple ways activities in a multiple ways i mean you can connect one activity with the other one for example here is the example right so you can connect each activity depending on the need you are connecting depending on your flow you are connecting them right if not required then you leave it if if required then you connect them wherever it is needed so this are the flow chart benefit of a flow chart state machine so state machine what there is a third process type called iterative linear and iterative we understood linear means simple any activity in the linear process will run only once for example sequence iterative means either you are using a flow chart or you are using a sequence with a for each loop which wherein any one of the activities iterating multiple times one activity is happening multiple times transactional means transactional means what that means depending for example if you go for a state machine right I have created a video on state machine. So in the state machine, what happens if you use a state machine? There are three different activities in a state machine. And you should watch uh, if you have not watched the state machine, you should watch that. So I am using a state machine workflow and here I can have multiple states added into this. So let me expand it go to activities and you can see i can add i have added a state i can add a couple of activities in the entry and exit i can add one more state i can add one more state and i can do multiple kind of branching for example this one i want to connect with this this one i want to connect with this um, you know the same you know same thing i want to connect with this for a condition on various conditions okay so you can do multiple uh, multiple in a flow chart if you see uh, this is connected now from here i want to go to the top okay so you can see one activity can be connected in the multiple transactions so it has got transactions but in a flow chart if you look at in a flow chart each of your activity can be only connected once so if you see uh, this is a condition for true or false but if you see the activity this assign activity having one flow you can't mention a condition you flow to this direction on this condition flow to this direction on this condition in a flow chart this is not possible you have to use a decision flow for that but um, but in a state machine as per the transaction depending on your transaction you have the ability to define a condition when it should move to that particular state so here again this is not a complete video on state machine you should watch my specific video but what is our goal here that the state machine option is not correct okay state machine option is not correct because this is used for a transactional process flowchart is for complex processes business processes sequence is for simple and linear processes and also flowchart can be used for a iterative process okay flowchart can be iterative process complex and iterative simple and linear state machine is for transactional processing okay so the third uh, type of transactional process means each transaction will process depending on its condition one by one it process for example re framework your entire re framework is a transactional processing okay so uh, and then the global exception handler the fourth option global exception handler is to handle the execution error encountered in the project right so project behavior is it going to retry is it going to continue is it going to ignore so this is done through global exception handler even for this i have a specific video you can watch them so here our answer is pretty simple sequence all right and we got the proof of that through the docs.uipath.com they are suitable for linear processes wherein the flowchart says it is suitable for a complex processes okay complex business process and iterative means any activity repeating more than once so in a flowchart we can repeat our activity more than once so for example the input dialog box is repeated again 
after reaching here it, again it goes it is repeated here also you can see it is repeated if you are repeating one activity so that becomes an iterative process okay more than once if you are repeating so flowchart is a you know iterative process and used for a complex um, business process okay you need to use a flowchart for a complex business process understood and the state machine is for a transactional process so they use transitions so this is used for a transactional process so your answer is sequence so thank you so much guys for watching it i hope all the um, evidence that i have provided uh, through the docs.uapart.com if you go through them it should be very very clear to you why the answer is sequence so thank you take care we are going to meet again in the next video take care bye bye